Welcome to the Daily Word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter nine, verses forty-six to fifty. An argument arose among the disciples as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side, and said to them. Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you is the greatest. John answered, "Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he does not follow with us." But Jesus said to him, "Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you." This is the word of the Lord. Welcomes. An argument arose among them concerning which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, Took a little child, and put it by his side, and said to them, "Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you is the greatest. I have a large number of family members, six brothers and sisters in my family. Therefore." Each of us often hopes to be the chairperson in family activities and discussions, but we all take it granted that my eldest sister will be the chairperson. Think back on the past. I realize that this is not the case. We will focus on different brothers and sisters according to different activities and scenarios. For example. When it comes time to go out to eat, it is usually the third eldest sister who decides where to eat. If the activities was about the outdoors and nature, it would be decided by the fourth sister. Therefore, I found that we have different needs in different scenarios. This situation may appear in our families, but it is very likely that in our workplaces. And other areas of life, we are more accustomed to deciding things according to who is the core of power or has more power. The so-called "who's the power, who's the louder, and who's the correct." However, as a Christian, I absolutely do not agree with this statement. Back to the text. When the disciples were discussing who was the greatest, Jesus noticed the doubts among them. So he brought a child to the disciples, stood beside them, and said, "Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you is the greatest." The message Jesus brings here is exactly in line with the values of the generation we live in. In today's generation, what people pursue may be power or money. Literally, pursuing the above things does not mean that it is bad. But don't think absolutely that if we have the above things, we are the best. The greatest mentioned by Jesus. In the eyes of God, those who receive children, the meaning of receiving children, is not about the nature of the child, but about his connotation. In our lives, when we receive people, we do not receive them because they are powerful. Instead, we receive them, whoever they are. Whether they are the smallest in the eyes of others, or whether they are incapable of giving back, as Christians, 
do we have this heart to welcome others? Let us have a time of reflection. Think about it. Who was the most recent person you received? If you were to prioritize, who are the people in your life that you would rather receive? Which people are you less willing to welcome? Why? Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful Father, we thank you because you allow us to understand that we met different people in our lives and they each have different characteristics so that we do not see how much influence others have on us. Only through you can see everyone around us, whether he is rich or poor, or whatever situation he is in, we still have the heart and mind to receive each other. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.